Hello everyone and welcome to the Easy Promotions YouTube channel. My name is Paul and this is the Amazon seller related news for October 2019. If you enjoy this video or want to learn more about selling on Amazon and all things e-commerce then subscribe to our channel and be sure to like this video. Number 1. Introducing SBA, sold by Amazon. Sold by Amazon was in an invite only testing phase earlier this year and has now become live for US sellers and no doubt the rest of the Amazon network very very soon. So what is SBA? SBA allows third party sellers who sell their products via FBA and are brand registered to allow Amazon complete control over their pricing of their products. Amazon agrees a bottom line profit margin with the seller and then takes control over your pricing ensuring you are always winning the buy box. According to the Amazon Brand Health Index, price competitive is Amazon's number one standard that Amazon uses for performance of brands. The SBA service is aimed at allowing Amazon to always have the cheapest price on your product over companies such as Walmart or your own e-commerce website. The concern for many is that this is yet another way to get sellers hooked on the Amazon platform. And as we've seen so many times before, the bigger you get on Amazon, the more dependent you become on them. Then you get hit with the bigger charges, and by then it's too late to pull your brand out of the platform without taking a massive hit on sales. Number 2. Amazon sets its lawyers on the gurus. We've all seen their ads on YouTube and Facebook, and many sellers would have been drawn into becoming an Amazon seller by the promise of get rich quick with Amazon, and in my course, I reveal the top secret way to win on Amazon. Unfortunately, like any business, selling on Amazon isn't a get rich quick scheme, and these gurus promise a lot, charge a lot for their courses, and there are countless people who have been left with a big hole in their finances with little to show. Well, it seems Amazon has had enough or at least enough of the gurus taking their name and abusing the Amazon platform. Two Californian men are being taken to court for their scheme of fake reviews, dishonest marketing and infringing on the Amazon trademark and logos. In the court papers served to the two gurus, Amazon said the following. Defendants improperly exploit Amazon's name, intellectual property and reputation to sell their get-rich-quick scheme to unwitting entrepreneurs around the country. These victims pay up to tens of thousands of dollars to defendants based on defendants' false portrayal of an affiliation with Amazon, relying on these misrepresentations to start a business selling on Amazon. The two men are accused of charging up to $10,000 for courses on how to game the system when selling on Amazon. The two men run a review exchange system with their students, which is something Amazon has a real problem with as of late as fake reviews are undermining the Amazon platform, which, funny enough, leads us on to our next story. Number 3. Amazon reportedly failing to crack down on fake reviews. Which, a consumer action group, has spoken out against Amazon's lack of action on fake reviews this month. Their investigation showed a number of products from unknown Chinese brands with an exceptionally high score for their products on Amazon. A lot of these products had suspiciously repetitive phrases in their reviews and had higher ratings than some of those products from highly familiar brands. When which tested 8 of these products from the electrical category, they failed to meet even the basic performance tests. Which has not only targeted Amazon, according to them, the whole e-commerce industry has a severe issue with fraudulent reviews and it's only getting worse. Amazon this year started targeting review groups along with banning sellers and removing suspicious reviews. Review groups used to be a way to get good reviews quick when launching products but have always been against Amazon's terms of service. Number 4. Making a profit from self-published blank books on Amazon Kindle. In a great article on money.com, Link in the description along with sources for all of today's news. It's revealed how people are selling blank page books such as notebooks and journals under Amazon's Kindle direct publishing platform. Now some of these are print on demand books such as mazes or puzzle books and some of these are just downloadable but there does seem to be money to be made and it is a very novel idea. This is a great low cost and low input way to make some cash on Amazon. But be warned, you will still have to put the effort for research and creating a good product for your customers, even if it is blank pages with lines on them. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did enjoy this video, be sure to subscribe and like it. It really helps the channel grow and allows us to create better content. See you next time.